G'day interwebs, I'm B-Man and this is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, it's part 16 of the playthrough. Um, hit the subscribe button and there is a playlist of the complete playthrough so far on my YouTube's channel. So we're in Vermilion, uh, sorry we're in Lavender Town and Team Rocket, Jesse and James of Team Rocket have just stolen a Cubone and gone back to their headquarters in Celadon City. So we will be going to Celadon City, which is west of here. Hey, did you see? Team Rocket abducted that poor Cubone. It sounded like they were headed to Celadon City, but they must be planning on taking the skull bone it wears and selling it at a higher price. So Team Rocket sells Pokemon skulls. You ever doubted that they're nasty individuals? I'm just gonna check my party quickly. What's a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon? A Jigglypuff in the Detective Pikachu trailer, except for the cute part. You are challenged by Beauty Aubrey. Beauty Aubrey sent out Clefairy. Go on, Shreds. Shreds use Fake Out. Clefairy flinched. Shreds his dick. Clefairy used metronome. Waggling a finger let it use water gun, but Shreds avoided the attack. Shreds his dig. Clefairy's metronome. Waggling a finger, let it use quick attack. Shreds use slash. Clefairy fainted. Shreds got 252 experience. Stop! says Beauty Aubrey. Don't be so mean to my Clefairy. 1,560 Poke Dollars and 3 Pokeballs for winning. I read the Clefairy evolves when it's exposed to a Moonstone. I read that in a Pokemon journal. I wonder if it's true. Fight the trains first, then explore the grass. I'm a rambling gaming dude. You are challenged by Gamer Rich. I wonder why they made them gamers look like they were some sort of martial arts masters. Seeking was sent out. Go on, Shreds. Level 35. Okay, Shred's back. Go Orlando. No, go Maximus. Come on back, Shred's. You did great out there. Go on, Maximus. I know you can do it. Seeking used Horn Drill. But Maximus avoided the attack. Maximus used Thunderbolt. Super effective. Seeking fainted. Hmm? 
Maximus grew to level 36. Shred's got 552 experience and grew to level 33. Inferno screw the level 34. Missed the big chance. 4,200 Poke Dollars and 3 Poke Balls for winning. Whether it's a game or a Pokemon battle, once you start, you just can't stop. found an X speed. You look good at Pokemon, but how is your chemistry grade? You are challenged by Super Nerd Aiden. Super Nerd Aiden set out coughing. Go on shreds. Shreds use fake out. Coughing flinched and couldn't move. Come on back shreds, you did great out there. You're in charge, Homer. Coughing you sludge. Homer you Psy Wave. Coughing you sludge. Homer you Psy Wave. Coughing fainted. Ow! Meltdown! 1080 Poke Dollars and 3 Poke Balls for winning. I am better at school than this. Go and heal. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. Thanks for waiting. Your Pokemon should be all better now. We hope to see you again. Route 8. Look around for hidden items. Pikachu's tail wags when you get near a hidden item. Three silver pineapp berries. I haven't played Pokemon Go for a while. I'm not sure what silver and what silver berries do. I assume they're better than regular berries. Seems a safe assumption. Seems this tree can be chopped down. Do you want to use the secret technique to chop down? Pikachu, use chop down. Okay, we got Rathata, Pidgey, sorry, Rathakate, Pidgey. Ooh, we found Firestone.
You put the fire stone in your power up pocket. Oh, you encountered a wild radicate. second player in. Got a Kate. You're annoying. See if anything interesting spawns. Fight this ace trainer, I guess. I can catch a lot of Pokemon around here, so buzz off. You were challenged by Ace Trainer Kyla. Kyla sent out Kadabra. Go on shreds. Shreds use fake out. Kadabra flinched. Shreds you slash. Kadabra fainted. Shreds got 391 XP. Kyla is about to send out Marchoke. Go Homer. Kyla sent out Marchoke. Oh, there's a little pee on his belt. I've never noticed that put on a Marchoke before. I wonder if this is the first game to include that. Okay, Homer, use Psy Wave. Marchoke, use Rock Slide. Why wasn't Psywave super effective? Homer used Psywave. Marchoke used Rock Slide. Homer used Psywave. Marchoke fainted.
you didn't buzz off. Two thousand nine hundred Poke Dollars and five Ultra Balls for winning. When you're trying to catch a Pokemon, using a second berry will remove the effect of the first berry you used. Okay, that's good to know. I realized something the other day. I was watching YouTube videos and it said that in, um, I can't remember which game, but it said that in one of the games there was a hidden trade where you trade a Mew for a Mew and the Mew that you get back is named Bart. So, um, I didn't know that when I named my Mew Homer. But I think it's cool that I named my Mew Homer when there's an actual in-game Mew named Bart hidden in one of the games. There's an Abra. the most interesting thing I've seen. I might as well try and catch it. <clears throat> you encountered a wild Pidgeot though. It's huge. Stay still Pidgeot though. Three, two, one. <coughs> Pardon me. Alright, you caught a Pidgeot though. You should be informed. You need strategy to win at this. You are challenged by Rocker Glenn. I think I preferred them with guitars to loud to megaphones. Glenn sent out Jolteon. Go on shreds. Shreds use fake out. Jolteon flinched. Shreds used dig. Shreds burrowed its way under the ground. Jolteon used agility. Jolteon's speed rose sharply. Jolteon used pin missile, but Shreds avoided the attack. Shreds used dig. Super effective, Jolteon fainted. It's not logical. What are you, a Vulcan? I thought you were supposed to be a rocker. Did I miscalculate? Did I use a wrong move? Hmm. My part was am I injured? Not really, just Homer. Alright, let's play a game. You are challenged by Gamer Stan. Gamer Stan sent out Rhyhorn. Go on shreds. It's not going to be effective, but I'm still going to use Fake Out. Shreds use Fake Out. Not very effective. Rhyhorn flinched and couldn't move. Go Tsunami. Hmm? 
Raihorn used Horn Drill. Tsunami avoided the attack. Tsunami used Scold. Super effective. Raihorn fainted. Tsunami got 241 experience. Shreds got 241. Everyone else got some. Homer grew to level 35. Drat came up short. 4,200 Poke Dollars for winning. And three Pokeballs. Things didn't work today. Underground path from Celadon City to Lavender Town. This hasn't happened in a while. Inferno sound found something in the plants. You got a golden pineapple berry from Infernus. I wouldn't say no to some raspberries, Pokemon. If you want to find me some raspberries. Found a big mushroom. I have sixty one thousand Poke Dollars. It's not bad. Try and engage these two girls separately. Meowth is so cute. Meow, meow, meow. You are challenged by Lass Andrea, who sends out Meowth. Go on, shreds. Shreds use fake out. Meowth flinched and couldn't move. Meowth used faint. Shreds used slash. Meowth fainted. Lass Andrea is about to send out another Meowth. Do I have anyone with a fighting move? Not really. Not that I'm aware of. I'm just gonna keep Shreds in. I need to level him up to close the level gap. Shreds use Slash. One hit. Meowth fainted. I feel bad for this girl and her pet Meowths. Last time Andrea is about to send out Meowth. Stay in there, Shreds. Meowth used faint. Shreds use Slash. Meowth fainted. Shreds got 144 experience. Meow, says Lassandria. 500 Poke Dollars and 3 Poke Balls for winning. We're showing off our Pokemon. Do you want to try? You are challenged by Lass Megan. Lass Megan sent out Pikachu. Go on, Shreds. Shreds 
Shredsy's fake out. Oh, I just one hit a Pikachu with fake out. Look what you did to my poor cute Pokemon. 500 Poke Dollars, 3 Pokeballs for winning. I think Pidgey and Rattata are cute too. I can't make up my mind. Saffron City's gatekeeper won't let us through. I know he's doing his job, but I think he's mean. Just looking for hidden items. Should I heal or should I just take this guy on? I might just take him on. School is fun, but so are Pokemon. You are challenged by Super Nerd Leslie. Super Nerd Leslie sent out Magnemite. Go on, Shreds. Shreds use Fake Out. Not very effective. Magnemite flinched and couldn't move. Go in fairness. Come back, shreds. Go on in fairness, I know you can do it. Magnemite use Thunderbolt. Ouch. Furnace used fire spin. Super effective. That's it, I knew you could do it. The opposing Magnemite fainted. In Furnace got 174 XP, so shreds. Shreds grew to level 34. Orlando grew to level 36. You beat Leslie. You made it clear to me that I should stick with school. 1,080 Poke Dollars and 3 Pokeballs for winning. I mean, everyone should stick with school, but um, just because I beat you doesn't mean you have to quit Pokemon, dude. I get beaten in online, online tournaments all the time. Route 8. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. Thanks for waiting, your Pokemon should be all better now. We hope to see you again. Come and save you, Cubone. Won't let Jesse and James take your ornamental skull. Growlith. Okay, I fought this gamer dude, didn't I? I was planning on getting some fresh air for a change, but we're stuck here because of the gates at Saffron City. Okay, let's see what these people are talking about with the gatekeeper. I'm on guard duty, and I take my duty very seriously. 
but gee, am I ever thirsty. I wish I had some tea to drink. Oh, hold on there, kid. I'm afraid I can't let you pass through here. Okay, so no going through there. Underground path, Celadon City to Lavender, Lavender Town. Well, that's a coincidence, because Celadon City is exactly where I'm headed. I hear there's been a sleeping Pokemon causing trouble out near Celadon City. Underground path. I'm going to have to search the whole thing for hidden items. Pikachu's tail wags in the presence of an item. Found a big pearl. Okay, I doubt this is going to be a hidden item so close to a regular item. You found an X accuracy. You found a repel. Found a nugget. People just dropping gold nuggets in this pathway. Found an X defense. Do you go often? Oh, you know what I mean. To the department store in Celadon City. They sell all kinds of things. It's very handy. Route 7. Underground path, Celadon City to Lavender Town. Infernus is smelling the scent of the grass. No item. Infernus is looking at Maximus's mouth. Okay, plenty of Pokemon. Looking for hidden items. We found an elixir. Hey. How many gym badges do you have? I have three. You were challenged by Ace Trainer Yvette. Yvette sent out Raichu. Go on Shreds, so I know you can do it. Shreds use Fake Out. Raichu flinched and couldn't move. Shreds use Dig. Shreds burrowed its way under the ground. Raichu used Thunderbolt, but Shreds avoided the attack. Shreds used Dig. Super effective, Raichu fainted. Ace 
Ace Trainer Vet is about to send in Doug Trio. Switch to War Turtle. Go War Turtle. Come on back, Shreds. You did great out there. Go on, Tsunami. I know you can do it. Ace Trainer Vet sent out Doug Trio. Doug Trio used Earthquake. Ow. Tsunami is scald. Super effective. Doug Trio fainted. Ace Trainer Rivet is about about to send out Seal. I don't know if Seal is water type or water and ice. Go Homer. Ace Trainer Vet sent out Seal. Seal used Aqua Jet. Homer used Psy Wave. Seal used Aqua Jet. Homer used Psy Wave. Seal used Aqua Jet. Homer used Psy Wave. Seal fainted. Uh oh, you were stronger than I thought. 2,800 Poké Dollars and 5 Ultra Balls for winning. There's a gym over in Celadon City. Do you plan on going? Well, I do now that I know about it. One of those special trainers over there. It's weird the Pokemon weren't spawning just then. Oh dear, I think I gave that poor guard too many pewter crunchies to eat. They're rather dry if you don't have any tea or anything to wash them down. Pewter Crunchies. I've never heard of those before. Okay, Eradicate, Pidgeotto, Jigglypuff, nothing new. Growlithe. I'm going to go back and I'm going to heal before I take on this, um, I can't remember what they're called. I've been calling them area trainers or special trainers. like extra tough trainers that you encounter every once in a while. You found a Hyper Potion. That's my first Hyper Potion, I believe.
Thanks for waiting. Your Pokemon should be all better now. We hope to see you again. Could be riding my Persian at the moment, make it a bit quicker. Feels a bit weird to me to be riding a Persian though. I've only ever ridden Tauros since, and, and, and like Charizards. I've been carried by a Marchoke. Or a Marchamp, I can't remember. And various surfing Pokemon. But not riding a Persian, that's weird. Porygon! You are not getting away from me. Come on, they're ultra balls, don't move. Ah. Nice. Three, two, one. All right, that could have Porygon. In the original game, the only place you can get Porygon from is um, you have to like gamble for it and buy it with like the currency that you earn from gambling. Tsunami leveled up to thirty-five. Porygon's data will be added to the Pokedex. Gee, it looks weird, it looks cell shaded. The only Pokemon that people anticipate can fly into space. None has managed the feat yet, however. It's the virtual Pokemon. I wonder how rare they are. I wonder why virtual Pokemon are just walking around in a grass patch as well. Right, let's sell it on City, but I'm gonna fight this trainer first. A small path between towns. Tihi, Route 7 is nice, right? Okay, are you ready? Let's do it. Now let's play an ensemble called a battle. You are challenged by coach trainer Alpesh. Alpesh sent out Farfetched. Go on shreds. Shreds used fake out. Farfetch flinched and couldn't move. Shreds used slash. Farfetch used facade. Ow, that hurt. Shreds used slash. Farfetch'd fainted. Alpesh is about to send out Wigglytuff. 
I really need to look up what's good against fairy types. Um, I think poison is, but I don't have any poison. Does Orlando have a poison move? No. Okay, I'm just going to burn this wiggly tough. Come on back, Shreds. You did great out there. Go on, Infernus. I know you can do it. Coach Trainer Alpish sent out Wigglytuff. I need to remember they're Coach Trainers. Infernus, you're about to level up. Infernus used Fire Spin. The opposing Wigglytuff became trapped in the Fiery Vortex. But the opposing Wigglytuff used Sing. Infernus fell asleep. Wigglytuff is hurt by Fire Spin. Rather than using an item to wake Infernus up, I'm just going to um, try and fight through it, see if he wakes up himself, because Wigglytuff is caught in Fire Spin anyway, and it's going to continue to take damage, even if I'm asleep. Infernus is fast asleep. Z -z -z. Wigglytuff used Facade. Wigglytuff is hurt by Fire Spin. Infernus is fast asleep. Wigglytuff used Facade. That's doing a bit of damage. Wigglytuff is hurt by Fire Spin. Go Tsunami. Wigglytuff use Facade. Tsunami is Scald. Wigglytuff use Facade. Tsunami use Bite. Not very effective. Wigglytuff fainted. Tsunami got 455 experience, so did Infernus. Infernus grew to level 35. You beat Coach Trainer Alpesh. It was a great session. 3,000 Poke Dollars for winning. Thank you for the best battle. Here, take a token of my gratitude. You got TM12 Facade. TM12 has the move Facade. It's a spunky move that deals double damage if the Pokemon using it has a status condition. Okay, so we've come through route, uh, oh, we've come through the underground path and along these various Pokemon routes, and we finally arrived in Celadon City. So that will be my next video, exploring Celadon City, and we'll try and find Cubone and rescue it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe. Um, feel free to like, comment, share. All that stuff helps me out. And um, I'll see you in the next video.